everybody, it's Patrick from the Pitch Deck. We're here with another Armory Night tonight. Um, I just got back from it, so it's fresh on my mind how these uh, matches went. Uh, this is round one for you guys. Uh, it's against Ice Lexi, and I lost the roll. So Lexi will go first. Um, this is the updated deck that I have for Dynasty meta now, since we are in that for the Armory. Um, I have it to where it's going to be in the link down in the description and you can have it for the matchups for February because I'm not sure if FabDB has that now. I haven't you've been using it lately. So I just stayed with February. So that way, if I use this deck for Talishar, um, it, the matches and the results pop up. Um, but for Lexi, some of the on hits are pretty devastating. Um, so I just kept in... Uh, some of the uh, defensive cards, I think I took out one, uh, the two of the fates for this one. Um, I took out Mindel's Fighting Spirit. So here we're just going to have um, Bolt Shot. This is covering it because it is four. It was a yellow, so it's pumped. And the reason why I did this now is because I'm not so sure if he's going to do anything else. I would like to get something um, different on my turn. There's not really much that I can do on my turn. I kind of wanted to send some damage towards him. So I was hoping just to cycle my card, cycle one card at least. That's why I did it, um, even though I had two floating. We do end up having um, CNC. I can't remember if I drew into. It. I want to say I did. I want to. I want to say that I did because it was like a full red hand or a full blue hand. And the reason why I wanted to cycle was uh, getting something a little bit more offensive. Offensive. But that's the only thing we can do, and the rest is pretty much just gonna be in my hand. Channel Lake plus Ice Bolt, I think. So he just takes a six and loses the card. Both cards are going to be costing two, the Ice Bolt or the Channel Lake Frigid, so uh, I won't be able to moon off of it with the spare resource. So he's going for it. I'm going to play the Channel Lake Frigid. And he would have to pay a full blue to shoot it. Which does a three for it. And then fuses it, which means I have one left floating, which is nice because it is a um, chilling ice vein. Blizzard Bolt would have been a little bit rough, but this I can actually take care of it on my turn when I have one floating. Because uh, it'd just be a frostbite that stays until my turn. Um, this one I can pay the rest, and which is what I wanted to do is just uh, block just a little bit, let it hit, and then have the one left over. Take two damage off this. We do Cornet Peak. Just so that way we have a ice card to satisfy Channel Lake. And I know a lot of the meta now is starting to evolve with um, some Icelander decks playing uh, Clarion of Providence into Ultim or Bravo. 
I currently don't own Crown of Providence. However, um, I have not tested that matchup with that change that they're testing. Um, but I do have no rune, null rune hood in my 80 cards. Here he has to pay for it, flips it. I think I have a red card in there. So this one's heat seeker. I haven't seen it before, so I wanted to read, and I just basically, if it hits, it just puts it on top, or it puts the top card of the deck into an arsenal. It doesn't have to have like an empty arsenal. That means it can work with New Horizon. And here I think I have a CNC in my hand, and that's why I'm okay with it just blocking a little bit and letting it hit. Um, so that way I'm able to play the CNC and have two cards taken from either hand. That was my thinking behind it, is block and let it hit. For the frostbite oasis for two or technically that is my block basically at that point i clear it out and i'm actually blocking at the same time so basically the the chill that i pitch for is basically the block and i'm clearing this i'm clearing it out at the same time so that way i clear it out i'm blocking it and i'm letting it hit so that way i can he can put it in there face up and then um i can hit cnc can't do anything with C with we can do something with the CNC but we can't do anything with the channel like frigid so unfortunately we can't keep that around oh that's two cards either way and that's the thing about CNC and Lexi um if you have new horizon so it's either two cards from hand or two cards um and six damage which the best way of course is to protect your life total and give two cards but um if you've got life as a resource and you can go to even, that might work. Because then you can just lose those two cards that I've already known, and I don't know the two cards in your hand. It gives you a little bit of, like, element of surprise, and you still have even life totals, but... You just wanted to block and preserve life. He's doing a pathing helix here. I'm just going to look at uh, two cards, which we do have. I guess it doesn't matter all too much, but it allows me to see what's in this hand and what's coming up potential next turn. We do have an oasis. I think an ice vein. A fused with a 
X. So yeah, we're just tunic. Use the tunic in Oasis. And then, okay, the last card was a hypo. Currently AB2 for Lexi, which is typically correct. Takes the damage and then pays for the effect. So now we got a hypo in Arsenal. And we can wait and deploy it at a great time that benefits us. I don't want to sit on it too long, but it helps out um, during big turns for Lexi. And here he's using his tunic and I'm trying to decide if I want to use it now. And here I'm thinking I want to be able to he's turning for resources. I want to just hammer that a little bit more. And since he's doing tunic, I could wait. That's why I'm waiting first just to see what's happened. And then I can toss the waning moon at him afterwards. Which did stop his turn, but. We do amulet plus chill. And I think a reason I did the hypothermia, I think if I remember correctly, I had another one in hand. It wasn't a very block hand, um, block well heavy hand, which is nice that I did the CNC last turn. Now he's doing this. That's fine. He's going to flip it over via cost. Which gives the next attack a go again. Three of a kind. Hey. We let it go, so that way he can burn some cards, some resources, and then we'll wait for the attack to gain go again. Well, it already does off of the flip, but we just want to let him burn some resources first. Because if it didn't flip it over and he gave us a frostbite, it would just be a little bit different. So here... I think he's wanted to clear out the weave ice, because... He sends the um, Blizzard Bolt, non-fused, so two float, no fuse, so it's coming in for six still because it's plus one and it still has go again. Player step, I do this, stop go again, which helps a lot, I would have taken a lot of damage. No fuse, so I'm okay with the sink. I remember why I was deciding on whether or not to sink. I think it was another hypo. And I needed, like, if I didn't blow, I think it was like uh, Ether Hell into two blues. And if I didn't get a blue and I got a red or a yellow, it'd be a lot less impactful. I forgot he didn't fuse it. Yeah. 
So we have money for four. I was waiting on a different arrow because I didn't know it would be a bolt and shot, but it's just plus one because it automatically gives it go again. But if it was another arrow, it would be go again, so it's less damage. If I did it the hypo before he loaded it, he could change basically give it plus one because he won't get go again off of hypo. So that's my last hypothermia. I think he denies reload. Oh wait, it would have to be an, an empty reload. That's right. Reload has to be empty arsenal. So the rest would have had to been used. Here the panel, sorry, the, um, the chill is putting in work. This will be old snap and arsenal with five damage coming through. I think next armory, I'll probably end up updating death dealer lightning Lexi. Or at least basic Lexi at that point, but it is still Lightning Lexi. Um, updated just a little bit. So that way I can change up. I have been doing Icelander this entire time. She's one of my favorite heroes, has been from the beginning, even through Prism meta. So here I'm thinking about. Um, up an amulet. Amulet, pay two or discard a card. I think one of the ways to slow or not necessarily yeah sorry about that i'll get that in a second but i should have i pitched something first and i messed up a little bit but uh first we pitch and then we draw but um yeah back to my thought about uh lowering the efficiency of ice under would probably be suspending old snap uh, and or polar blast because it really is just a free frostbite plus moon activation and you don't lose any cards off it i mean you can run into a red but it is a free frostbite and you just get a card back sometimes you might want that red but if you're pitching a blue you're just gonna get off the you're just using it for the um moon activation plus frostbite and then the potential of locking the arsenal so it's like some cases that are the best cases, it's uh, three for one. Not so much for Polar Blast unless you're using it on your turn. Or an attack action. Mm. 
This one I think is coming in for three. I think I have a full blue hand and it was just not great. I can put the ice bolt in arsenal. I'm not mistaken. I have uh, tunic to three. Rangers did get a lot of on hits, the majestic on hits. I want to say that's it's pretty nice. I uh, would we'll just take two here. I don't mind it going back to his hand. Not a dangerous life total for me to worry about the press going away. Or in terms of the press threatening lethal for me. Uh, but I was doing a lot of work towards his life total, so. Not much uh, that you can do to really save. I probably would have done one card, but that's just me. I go ahead and automatically take it. I've got some life to burn. You got the reload trigger using endless arrow. This is just coming for its natural four since it was reloaded and then no buff off of bow. Moon Moon for three. Taking one. It's an arsenal, which is okay, I guess. Last counter for chill, which is nice because it can help me get closer towards the end, finishing it out. plus the on hit for ice rain is why it's really devastating to any deck really um lexi isn't in the greatest spot when it comes to icelander i would think you probably want to set up burst damage a lot of the time 
Uh, I did play her lightning build. Not much of an ice build, but um, if it is a normal generic um, lightning build, I have played that before. Here we're doing hail for two. He can block it out, which he does. And then we strike it for the win. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We're going to go ahead and get the third round for you guys. Um, I'm able only to just do rounds one and three. And stay tuned.